Ma, this is the five or characters that you asked for. Okay, thank you. Um, so is that all? Yeah, that will be all for now. And how many more clients do I have for today? Um, you have two. Yeah, two. One for one p.m. and the other one for three p.m. Mm, okay. Um, please send them in as soon as they get in. All right, Ma. Sure. Thank you so much. Hey, baby. Have you picked up Josh yet? Oh, no, 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 not yet. Ah, oh, babe, there's a whole lot of work going on here. But I will be rounding off pretty soon. Ah, uh, no, don't worry. I got out of the office a little early today, so I'll just pick him up myself. Oh, thank you so much, my darling. All uh, right, see you later at the house. Thank you. And I love you. Bye. Love you. All right, see you later. Um, you won't believe it, they were blown away with the presentation. And just like that, I got the contract. Ooh, <laughs> congrats, my darling. Thanks, dear. Hmm. Mm. Anyway, I had two new patients today. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they are very interesting. Wow. Mm -hmm. you know what, I really don't envy what you do, you know. Trying to get into people's head and all that, but sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is why I'm Brenda and you, Benga. Well, tell me something I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, next holiday spot, what, what do you have in mind? Hawaii. Wow, you pay. But you're the one who is taking me. Mm -hmm. right? And then you went all the way to uh, Hawaii. You, you, you can't, you know. Be coming down. Come down, baby. Be coming down. <laughs> okay. So, shells? I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, baby. Tell mommy. How was your day at school today? Fine. Fine? Were you a good boy at school? You sure? Don't lie to mommy. Good. <laughs> he has no choice. He takes after his father. Come on. Who happens to be a very good man. You mean after his mother? <laughs> no, you should consider stand-up comedy. What do you mean by that? Mm. Nothing. I was only saying no. No, you mean I like to clown. Mm -mm -mm. This one is really beautiful, my beautiful wife. Binga. Mm -hmm. Josh? Yes. Are you okay? Yes. I hope you did your homework. Yes. Okay. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go to school. Make sure you're a good boy, okay? okay. I don't want your teacher telling me any bad reports, okay? Okay. Promise? Yes. Good. 
Give me a hand. Good boy. Good morning, Good, morning, Good morning, darling. Sorry, I'll take this call. Hello? <laughs> uh, Maka. Good morning, how are you two? Yeah, I'm fine. And I'm at the office already. <laughs> oh, Maka. Okay, no problem. I'm available. I'm here. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> okay, then. I'll see you later. All right. Bye. Um, Amanda. Yes, ma'am. How many clients do I have today? Um, five, ma'am. Five. Wow. That's a lot. Anyway, when the first patient comes in, send her in at once, yeah. okay? Sure. Thank you. Since Mohammed will not go to the mountain, mm -hmm. the mountain has decided to come to Mohammed. <laughs> Please, how's my Josh? Josh is doing okay. He's doing just great. I will pick him up later from school. That's good. Fine. Please, darling, turn off this thing. Let's go, because I'm hungry. Okay, I'm just going to shut down my system and off we go. Okay. <sighs> okay. Now, for being so stubborn, I am going to deal with you, deal with you, deal, deal, with, deal with you, deal with you. <laughs> hey, Josh, how are you? <gasps> Big boy. Oh, my boy. <laughs> so, how was work today? <sighs> Babe. Work was very fine, but it was hectic. Hmm. Very hectic. I had lots and lots of patients come in. Mm. You should mm -hmm. be careful and stop stressing my wife. Nobody's stressing your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, have you boys had something to eat yet? Oh, come on. Come on. What kind of a question is that? Uh, With the beautiful and excellent... Chef Bengulo in the mm -hmm. building. Mm -hmm. What were you expecting? You see, I made this fantastic mm -hmm. sizzling hot, oh. hot and delicious white rice. All oh, this? Yes, accompanied with the lovely and wonderful mouth tasting sauce that you made and put in the fridge. Yes. Sauce that I made? Mm -hmm. My very own sauce? Yes, but you see, the meal consists like what 70 to 75 percent of the white rice so i did the bulk of the work yeah Minga, so, please uh, i made the, the the stew i made the sauce yeah, yeah. No, no 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 so um, i am still the unbeatable chef of the year right yeah, 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 yeah. right my boy <laughs> will be still the best chef in the whole world it's me right it's me it's me it's daddy right it's daddy it's daddy <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go upstairs mm -hmm. and freshen up. Right. Then I'll come down to have a taste of your white rice. And the sauce. And my very own sauce. No, the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <they're laughs> All right, let's watch. Mm. Now that's a commercial for the... Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Baby, baby, save you good loving for me, just me. Mm -hmm. Baby, baby, save you good, good loving for me. Babe, baby, 
babe, wake up. Wake up, wake up. Oh, baby, what is it? I still feel sleepy. Today's Saturday. I know, but just turn around. Hey, baby, turn around. Oh, babe. <laughs> Come on, wake up. Yes. She made you did all you did all this for me. Yes, you deserve this and more, my love. Oh, what did I ever do to deserve you? I love you, babe. It's been seven years I said I do. To the woman of my dreams. And nothing has changed ever since. I love you even more every passing day. Babe, my wife, my love. I can't say too much. I love you so much. And no matter what, nothing will ever come between us. See, I love you so much, Benga Phillips. And I always will till the day that I die. Well, of course you will. Who else will you love? <laughs> <laughs> You're not serious, but I love you like that. I love you too, babe. Hey, do you know what? Enough of all this. Talking about love before you start getting me all, you know, mushy and hmm. make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> um, you start up with your breakfast, make sure you finish it up because we have a beautiful day ahead. I've got, you know, loads and loads of good stuff planned out for us. Mm? Really? Yes, we can. Okay. okay, we'll see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Um, you know, you need to. Before you start eating, you know, you know, like brush what? up your just brush, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I love you. <sighs> oh my goodness. <sighs> hey Josh, let me tell you a little secret. Hmm? I've got this amazing plan. Mm. I'm going to take your mom. We're going out without you, of course, because it's our anniversary. So you'll be home. Mm? And we plan and having the most amazing time. Without you, of course, need I say. And who is going to look after my darling, George? <laughs> you ain't supposed to hear that, but I made arrangements already. Mm -hmm. So um, Amaka will help. She will gladly look after him for us. Yeah. Amaka. Yep. Oh. Well, that is strange. I mean, I saw Amaka yesterday and she never mentioned the word of this to me. Oh, please. It was a surprise. It was supposed to be a surprise before you, you know, you've dropped and you heard me. So, yeah. Okay. Mm. So, what time is she coming over? Oh, today at noon. I will kill her. I promise you. <laughs> oh, yes. Come on. <laughs> I will. Hey, Papa. Enjoying your time with Daddy. Making noises. Shh, don't ruin our program. It's not your boy. Shh. Am I ruining your program? See that? See? What oh, boy? really? Okay, come meet your mom. Hey, Auntie Mata is here, baby boy. <laughs> go, go say hello. Hey, my lovelies! <laughs> Look at you! I've missed you! Oh, you should have let me born this picture. Uh, now you born, carry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Benga, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I, I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm great. I hope my friend is not stressing you too much. 
she's stressing me as a matter of fact, but um, I like the stress, so let her continue. Hmm? Hey, Zioko. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please, keep stressing him. <laughs> My love, I've so missed you. Mm -mm. Do you know what? I have it all planned out today. Hmm. From the cinema, to the ice cream shop, mm. to fun center. What am I even telling them? I'm sure you guys have your yours, yours planned too. Mm. Yeah. My dear, let's go please. Mm? <laughs> let's go, because we're running out of time. Mm. Okay, All right. Yeah. Mm. You're bad boy. Can you call? Ooh. Aren't you going to give mommy a hug? Oh, baby, boy. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. Mm. Okay, have all the fun in the world, okay? Bye, baby. You sure will. I'll bring you back tomorrow. <laughs> all right. Rock yourself out, bro. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, baby girl. Josh, bye. Bye. bye, Josh. Bye. Bye, bye. Oh, okay. Bye. Now it's time for the real party. <laughs> mm, we are all alone. It's time to have some fun. Mm. Some fun? Mm -hmm. I'm in the mood. Mm. I mean, for what? To make a baby. Who is making another baby with you? We are making another baby. Well, as long as you will carry the pregnancy. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. We're really. going to have this conversation now. Yes, really. It's not hard now. I will just look for another woman, you know, to have the baby with. Mm -hmm. Venga. Mm. Dear me. I dare you to dare me. You dare me. I dare you to dare me. Really? Yes. I dare you to dare me. Yeah, right. really? Yes. Okay, but I don't know. I, I don't know if you would like it or not. I, I'm making another baby. Don't so. try. Yes. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> I do. The ambience, the colors, simply romantic. Especially for you. Thank you so much, Benga Phillips. You're welcome, Brenda Phillips.
Yes, ma. Um, she usually cancels, but I think everything is fine. But, yeah, she will make out time for today's section. Yes, ma. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm here for my appointment with Mrs. Phillips. Oh, sure. She's expecting you. You can go in. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, please come in. Oh, hi, Mrs. Hey. Felicia. <laughs> please have a seat. Thank you. <laughs> Make yourself comfortable. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Felicia, you sound very excited today. I am very excited today. Do you mind sharing what is getting you so excited? I think I'm in love. <laughs> wow. Mm. Interesting. Tell me about it. He's just everything I want in a man. Aww. Tell me more. Come on. <laughs> He's handsome, hmm. caring, and loving. He's just amazing. <laughs> he was really special from the way you talk about him. Yes, he is. Hmm. <laughs> so tell me, how did all of this start? <clears throat> it all started when we met at a restaurant. Hmm. I kind of fancied him. I mean, who wouldn't? It's just that I'm tired of Lagos boys and their wahala. Mm -hmm. I never expected us to cross paths again. So, what happened next? Yeah, and um, water. My name is Benga. And yours? As you can see, I am eating. Can you please excuse me? Wow. It's quite a shame that you're not as friendly as, uh, as you look, you know? For one who looks so much like an angel. That's okay. Guess I'm out of time. Bye, beautiful. Small world. Don't fancy running into you here. As you can see, I am busy, so excuse me. So, what is it you want to pick? I, I think I can help out, you know, pick something really nice. Really? Mm -hmm. I can see you don't give up. Especially when it involves a beautiful damsel like you. <laughs> oh wow, I made you smile. <laughs> That's good points for me. You're not serious. Like I said the other day, my name is Benga. What's your name? My name is Felicia. Felicia. Wow. That is a beautiful name. A beautiful name for a beautiful angel. Stop flattering me. <laughs> uh, okay, so if you don't mind, can I have your number? I don't give my numbers to strangers. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, but going by our conversation, I don't think I'm a stranger anymore. I mean, you know my name, I know your name, we bumped into each other. 
couple times. So, we'll save. Okay. Alright. <laughs> That is why you haven't seen me for some time now. Oh. I think I'm in love with Benga Phillips. Hmm? What did you say? What did you say? I, I mean his name. I said Benga Phillips. Is there a problem? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. No, no, there, there is no problem. I thought something was wrong. <laughs> no. It's just that the name sounds familiar. So can I, um, <clears throat> you know, see this man who captured your heart? I mean, a picture of him. Oh, sure. <laughs> Let me just dig it up. Mm. Okay. Oh, here you go. <laughs> 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 Brenda, what happened? You sounded very urgent on phone. Come on, why are you crying? Babe, what's the problem? You know you can confide in me. Talk to me, what's the problem? Oh my god, my life is shut down. <laughs> I can't believe that Benga will do this to me. I can't believe it. What did Benga do? <laughs> Benga has been having an affair. Yes. <laughs> Babe. Babe, are you sure? Because the Benga I know would never cheat on you. I'm sure of what I'm saying, Amaka. He loves and adores you. He won't do that to you. I know what I'm saying. I'm sure. The woman he's cheating on me with told me herself. She told me herself. Wait, what do you mean the woman is cheating on you with told you? And who is this woman? She's my patient. Wow. You know that my patients confide in me about things going on in their lives. This particular woman told me a few weeks ago about a man she met and is in love with. She mentioned a name. It was Inga's name. And, and, and then I asked her to, to show me a picture of him. Because she showed me a picture and it was Benga. Yes. Babes, are you sure? Are you sure she wasn't lying to you? What would she gain by doing that? What? <sighs> okay, I think... I think you should ask him. I don't know, I don't know. I, I don't know, I'm confused. I am so confused. If I ask him, I know he's going to deny it. Then again, if I do not ask him, I will just be dying inside. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Come on, please. It's okay. It's okay. But if you ask me, I still think you should speak to Benga about this. You guys should talk this matter over, please. No, no, I'm not going to confront him. I don't think I will confront him. I want to catch him. I want to catch him red-handed so that he will not deny it. I'll catch him red-handed. Honestly, I don't think that's the best thing to do. But if that's what you want to do, no problems. It's all right, please. Thank you so much. <sighs> 
wanted to take this is what I want to discuss it take as infidelity. No, you're not sure, babes. Come on. Don't jump into conclusions yet, okay? <laughs> Boy, mommy's back home. Oh, oh my goodness, boy! What have you been eating? <sighs> Welcome back. Thank you. Um, I made something for you to eat. Thank you, but I'm not hungry. Boy. Mommy will be upstairs, okay? I need to get out of my work clothes, then we can joke around, okay? Okay, bye. See you later. We spoke almost every day, morning and night. It was as if we've known each other for life. Then we went on a date. We chatted a lot. I kept on smiling till the date was over. We shared a kiss. Then he came over to my house and the rest is history. Okay. Okay. Hello, people. How are you? <laughs> hey, baby. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. What well, you've been acting up, especially since you got back yesterday. Something bothering you. You can tell me I'm your husband. Benga, nothing is bothering me. Thanks. George? Come. Let's go to school. To school. Come. Okay. Chop, chop. Mom is waiting for you in the car, okay? Why did you come into my office without knocking? Ma, I did. I knocked. It's okay. What is it? Oh, you have a patient waiting for you out. I'm not in the right frame of mind to see anybody. Sorry, Ma, is everything okay with you? What is it? asking me that? Is everything okay with you? Do I not look okay? Do I look like everything is completely wrong with me? Everything is completely fine. Now you go out there and reschedule that appointment. Okay, ma'am. Josh, 
why are you not eating your food? I want, I want to wait for daddy. Listen, when daddy comes back, he will also eat. But now it's late, you need to eat your food. But we always wait for daddy. I said eat. Eat your food. Yo. Welcome, Daddy. My boy. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, babe. Hey. Look, I'm so hungry. I'm not even going to go in and freshen up. I need to eat. Ugh. So, where's my food? Hmm? Bingham. If you want to have something to eat, go in the kitchen. Make a plate for yourself. There's still food. But usually you serve me. You insist on serving me. That was before. What do you mean that was before? What's going on? You've been acting up recently. I, I don't like this person you're becoming. And I do not like the man that you have become. Bingham, listen, I do not have the time for this. And we cannot be doing this in front of Josh. Oh, wow, man, you remember we can't have it in front of Josh when you've been you know, going against every single rule we've set in this house. Bingham, like I said, I do not have the time for this. Josh, make sure you eat up, okay? Eat all of it. Mommy wants you to gain some weight, okay? Okay. What Thompson, is it? We need to talk. What about? Come on, sit down first now. Binka, what is it? Have I done anything wrong to you? Oh, God. You've just changed all of a sudden. This is not the woman I married, the one used to excite me, you know, coming home every day. And Benga, you are definitely not the man I married to. Then tell me what's wrong so that I can apologize. I really just want my wife back. Benga, are you done? Really? That's all you have to say? Look, don't, don't get annoyed when I, when I start acting up, oh. You know I can play this game of yours, right? <laughs> Bring it on, Benga. Bring it on. Yes, come in. Sense for you. Yes. Um, Amanda, I want to sincerely apologize to you. I'm sorry about the way I spoke to you the other day. It's okay, ma'am. I totally understand. It's nothing. Thank you. Please do not take it to heart. Okay? Of course not, ma. I'm good. Um, you may now return to your seat. Thank you very much, ma'am. Hi, babe. How are you doing? 
I'm doing good. What can I say? I'm fine. Amaka, to be honest with you, I'm not fine. No, no. That is not the best thing to do. What? What did he say? Really? Are you serious? Um... <clears throat> I'm like, can I, can I call you back? I have a client who's coming in very soon. I'll talk to you again. I'm not. I will talk to you again. I mean it. All right then. Bye. Benga, why did you call Abaka? Since when did you start calling me Benga and not baby or something? Something like what? No, I'm asking you. Is Benga not your name? Wow, this is this is shocking. You've you've really gone full circle. You're totally changed. Please, I want my wife back. And I want my husband back. I want my husband back. You're not the man I married. Listen, Minga. I don't like the fact that you call my friend to discuss our issues. If you have an issue with me, talk to me about it. Discuss it with me. But well, that's exactly what you've not been doing. Talking to me. I've always wanted us to talk, you know, to... I don't want whatever, whatever is going on. I do not have anything to iron out with you. You know what? That's fine. That is fine. But know this. You are slowly losing me. So sad to realize that I caused this. Uh-uh. GB. This one, you're still here. It's already past work hours. What's going on? Uh, I still have some work to finish. Which kind of work? I don't understand, GB. You always leave the office before everyone else so you can go spend time with your beautiful family. Yeah. I hope that is still the case. I don't understand. Are you having problems at home? I don't want to bore you with it. Jimmy. I don't think running away from your problems is the best way to go about solving them. Brenda is your wife. You should know how to talk to her. Honestly, the way you keep going on and on about her, I know how much you love this woman. Well, she... She's really making things difficult right now. Eh... Guy, go and talk to your wife. Thanks. Hmm. It's not my thanks, so. though. Turn off this system and go home. I'll see you tomorrow, man. All right.
Why? My favorite people do we they look at you. <laughs> okay, look, Daddy got you something. There you go. <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> Baby, you know the night won't be complete if I didn't get my favorite girl something special. There you go, baby. Thanks. What? You don't like it? You won't open it to see if you like it? Binga, 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 what is it? Huh? I've said thanks. Isn't that enough? What else do you want me to say? But babe, now. Usually you say, Thank you. You give me a kiss, you say something really nice, but now you're treating leave me alone. like a complete... Just, just leave me alone. I can see you're in the mood for long talks. I am not. Okay? I'm tired and I honestly need to sleep. Please, push. Put Josh to bed. Brenda, please get up. I know you're not sleeping. What is it, Binga? Please get up. We need to talk. Can't it wait till tomorrow? No, it can't. We need to talk now. Babe, what you're doing is really hurting. It's hurting me deeply. We've had misunderstandings before. We didn't go past a day, but this is insane. For weeks now. I'm doing my best here, and what's worse is I don't even know what I did. My love, can you just please Talk to me, please. Is this the reason you disturbed my sleep? Is it not good enough a reason? Is it not? This, this is, this is, this is going on for too long. Tell me what I did, my love, so I can ask for your forgiveness properly. Binga, binga, binga. Listen, I'm tired. And I need to sleep. Babe, I am trying my best. I am really trying my best. Yes, Amanda? Okay. 
send her in. Yes, come in. <laughs> Hi, Hi. Miss Felicia. Please, you may see. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, how are you feeling today? I am fine. I am so in love. <laughs> I keep on loving him day by day. <laughs> Tell me more. Okay. <laughs> okay, last night he called. Okay. His voice was so sexy. Oh. <laughs> and the way he smiles. Oh, goodness. That is the most beautiful thing ever. Really? He's so charming and hot. Oh, I love him. <laughs> What you gon' do, what you gon' do when they come for you, eh? What you gon' do? Benga. What you gon' do? Where are you coming from at this time of the night? Somewhere very important. Where would that be? None of your business. Since you've decided to live in a loveless marriage, two can play the game. Mm -hmm. See, the only thing I don't like about you 
The fact that you know exactly how to turn things in your favor. What exactly are you talking about? <laughs> You're the one that's been acting up. Wow. Benga, you're evil. Yes, you are evil. Evil? You are an evil person. How come I did not even see this side of you? Are you serious? Me, evil? What are you even on about? Listen, I am sick and tired of this pretense. No, I'm sick and tired what of this. What pretense are you on about? Me, your lover! What? What lover? Man up already. Man up and stop acting like you don't know what I'm talking about. Man up and accept it, Benga. Accept what? I don't have a lover. Well, except you. You think I don't know her, right? You must really think I'm stupid. You know what? After everything you've put me through, you've put this household through, for weeks and weeks now. Everything coming out of your mouth this night confirms it. Something has gone cuckoo in your head. Mm. <laughs> keep lying. No! Keep lying. Keep denying it, Venga. Keep denying it. Listen, time will tell. Time will expose you. I promise you that. I can't believe we are having this sort of conversation. You know what? I don't have time for this rush. Good night. Really? Really, Benga? Really? Run! Run as fast as you can. Isn't that what you know how to do best? Run! Brenda! Brenda! Brenda, get up. Get up! Get up, baby. Yes, I can hear you. Hello? What? Fainted? What happened? Yes, yes, I will. I'll go the right road. That's no problem. And and please, when you get to the hospital, update me on our condition, please. What is wrong with my wife? Are you aware that your wife was pregnant? Pregnant? Judging from the expression on your face, I'm very sure you didn't know your wife was pregnant. You keep saying words. How is she and how is the baby? Well, she's fine. Although she lost the baby. I'm really sorry. You see, we tried everything to save the baby. Your wife was going through a lot of uh, stress. And because of that, she fainted. And moreover, you brought her here very late. Please take her. Um, how is, how is she? Will she be able to live today? Yes, of course. 
we will do the last couple of uh, tests on her and after that you can take her but you will have to promise me that she will have adequate rest when she gets home. Thank you. Make sure. I'll do that, doctor. Take this to the hospital pharmacy and get the following drugs for her. And make sure she takes them on time, on a daily basis as well. It will help her recover on time. Okay, doctor. Okay, doctor. Thank you. It's all right. You're welcome. You guys welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'll go upstairs and freshen up. You need to. Where's Josh? I put him to sleep. He's upstairs. Mm. I made food. In case you're interested. Thank you. You're welcome. Kelly. <laughs> Sorry, love. How are you, dear? I don't know. Sorry, okay. Did you know you were pregnant? I didn't know. It's okay. Stop crying. I mean, I've been going through a lot. And I just thought it was stress. I never really imagined that I was pregnant. <sighs> it's okay, please. Okay? Don't beat yourself up. It's fine. It's okay, love. Don't bite yourself. It's not your fault. Okay? But well, I thought you were on bed control pills. Yeah. So what happened? I didn't take my pills on our anniversary night. <laughs> then this saga happened. It's all right, please. Stop tormenting yourself. All right? It's, it's not your fault. Please. It's okay. I... I just, I just need you to talk to Benga. Okay? He'll listen to you. I will try. I will try, Amaka, but I don't think he wants to talk to me. He I don't think he will to listen. You. He will listen to you. I know Benga, he loves you very much. Just please give it a try. All right? You'll be fine, okay? You'll be fine. <coughs> have, you, have you spoken to me about the lover? Yes. I did, last night. And? He denied it. 
And now I, I just wish I didn't confront him in the first place. Because if, maybe if I didn't confront him, I would, he would have left the room and I would have still had my baby. I wouldn't have lost our baby. Come on, girlfriend, please. Please, get a grip on yourself. It's all oh, this is not your fault. Okay? Please. Enough of this. I need to get you food to eat so you take your drugs, okay? Oh, I'm not hungry. Hmm. I'm not asking you. You don't have a choice. You have to eat and take your drugs. Let me get you food. Brenda. Brenda, get up. You need to eat and use your drugs. Get up. What you need to do now is eat your food and use your drugs. We have loads of time to talk. I know that. But I know that you're mad at me and I'm so sorry. For I'm... what exactly? Brenda, just eat your food and use your drugs. Okay? We need to talk. And we will. Like I said, it's your food, use your drugs, because really, I'm not in the mood for this conversation right now. Amaka, Benga has not been talking to me. All he does is to make sure I take my drugs and eat. Whenever I bring up the conversation, he would say he doesn't want to talk about it. And in all honesty, I am tired of trying. Come on, girl. I'm sure he's hurting. But he is not the only one who is hurting. I'm hurting too. I know, right? I am hurting more than everyone else. <sighs> Do you know that he doesn't even sleep in the room anymore? And where does he sleep? Here. Here. On the couch? On the couch. Or in Josh's room. This is not good. This is not good. You guys can't be handling your issues like this. But how is it my fault when he would not say a word to me? Then make him talk. Hmm. Brenda. Yes? Do you still love your man? With all my heart. Then fight for your husband. How am I supposed to do that when he will not even say a word to me? How? Let's try. When you're fighting for your marriage, you, you have the strength inside. Fight for the man you love. 
do not let one one babe from nowhere come and mess up what you have going with your husband and you don't even know if he's really cheating on you tell you something. While you were rushed to the hospital, your son said something to me when I came here to stay with him. Like, that little boy shocked me to my bones. Do you know what he said to me? What did he say? He said you don't love him anymore. He said you don't play with him. You don't tell him bedtime, bedtime stories. You don't sing for him. You don't even tell him that you love him anymore. And to top it all, he said you and Winga fight all the time. <sighs> this is all my fault. Yes, it is all my fault. I mean, I let, I let jealousy take the better part of me. I should have talked to Benga when I first found out about his lover. All this is in the past now. You shouldn't blame yourself for what is past. I think you should focus on the future. Think the way forward. Rebuild your marriage. Fight for your man, fight for your love. And stop listening to that patient of yours. I think you should refer her to another psychologist and warn her to stay clear your man. I think that's the best thing to do, honestly. Hey, baby. My baby. Yes. Mommy wants to talk to you. Okay. I'm very sorry. I know that I've been talking to daddy in um, a way that you do not like. And I also know that Sometimes daddy talks to me in a way that you do not like. Okay, so I've come to say I'm sorry. Oh. Daddy is also sorry. You know, mommy has been stressed up lately. But I promise that I will go back to being mommy. Okay. Okay, my boy. Okay, so now go back to sleep. Welcome on, Wenga. Thank you. We need to talk. About what? I, I won't take too much of your time. I know you just got back from work and you must be really tired. Go ahead. Okay. I, I want you to know that I didn't know I was pregnant. Please. 
I, I know that I've been a bit distant lately, but I have a reason why. And what reason may that be? I would really like to know. Do you know what I really think? No. I don't believe you didn't know you were pregnant. I think you didn't want to get pregnant and that made you sad. It made you sad when you found out you were pregnant. Now I ask you this, are you happy? Are you happy that you successfully killed our child? Jesus Christ! Pinga! Do you know who I am? Do you even know me? Had you met me? Me! Kill my baby, our baby! You know, I've never do a thing like that. I know I didn't want another baby. I know, all right? And I just felt that our lives were stable and we didn't need another baby. But you know, I would never kill my own child. I started acting up after I found out. You were cheating on me and don't even deny it. Don't deny it because your mother told me herself. If you want to eat something, your food is on the dining table. I'm going to sleep in Josh's room. Are you not going to work? I was going to, then I changed my mind. Okay. I'll be in the room. Please come. We have something important to talk about. Please. I'm sorry about what I said last night. I was just bitter. I didn't mean it. Benga. Do you hurt my feelings? No. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Babe, I... I really miss you. I miss how we were. I miss my best friend. Miss my wife. Miss my love. I miss my happy place. I miss how you laugh at my jokes. And I wish, I, 
And I really miss coming back to this home with a huge smile on my face. I miss you. I miss us. Baby, why? I tried to talk to you. You refuse, you keep blocking me off. You remember the day my behavior changed? One of my patients told me that you are a boyfriend. A patient? Me, a boyfriend? How? Yes. She, she called your name. She told me how you two met. She even showed me a picture of you on her phone. This doesn't make any sense. So who's this woman? Felicia. Her name is Felicia. Hey, I swear I do not even know any woman by that name. So? Who have you been talking to on the phone? Who have you been chatting with? Wenga, who have you been smiling with on the phone? And why have you been coming home late recently? I knew it. Wait, 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 no. Inga, listen, I know all men are the same, but why would you admit it? You were cheating on me. Say the truth. Tell me the truth. Babe, no, it's not what you think. I'm not cheating on you. I'll tell you everything, okay? The truth. <coughs> it all began when you started acting up. And that's what really happened. The whole truth. Apparently it worked. Because eventually you spoke to me. Are you serious? Yes. I can call James and put it on speaker so you hear. No, no. No. You don't need to do that. You're my husband. I should learn to trust you. Babe. You're the love of my life. Nothing, nothing can stop that. No woman can. That woman is not born yet. Go. You can have that, okay? <laughs> mm. Excuse me, guys. 
Uh, hi, babe. Hi, girlfriend. Hi. You sound so excited. I take this to be that you and Gwinga have reconciled, right? Yes. We're on the table eating. Wow, this is good news. I'm happy for you, my girlfriend. Thank you. Don't worry, let me just get back to the dining, okay? I will call you later and give you all the gist, okay? I can't do it. Please call me back to tell me the, give me the full gist, okay? All right, bye. Bye, love. Ah. Mm. Sorry, boys. So sorry. Mm -hmm. I have to take that. I'm a cat. How is she? She's good. She's doing okay. Stop okay. <sighs> playing with your food. Eat, don't play. So, babe. I think it's time for me to, you know, go back to work. Are you sure about that? Have you fully recovered? Yes. I feel better. Besides, my patients need me. Hey, but I need you more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. I know. Okay, but... When do you intend going back? Tomorrow? That's too sudden, babe. I know. I'm tired of staying indoors. Plus, there is an issue I need to sort out. And what issue is that? You don't need to bother your head. Mm, are you sure? Very sure. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> I know you always want me around. <laughs> I understand that. Mm. Oh, <laughs> welcome back, Ma. Hello, Amanda. <sighs> How are you? I'm fine, Ma. Okay, um, how is everything around here? Oh, very well, Ma. It's just that your patients have been asking after you. I know, I know. I miss them too. So, um, how many sessions do I have for today? Um, three, Ma. Three? Okay. And is Miss Felicia still on my appointment? Oh, yes, ma, by 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Yes, ma. Okay. Um, please send her in as soon as she comes in. Okay, sure. Uh, welcome back once again, ma. Thank you, Amanda. You look good. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yes, come in. Oh, <laughs> Miss Felicia, please have a seat. Thank you. I've been expecting you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, I have something to share with you. Okay. <laughs> But I also have something I would like to say to you first. Mm. Um, <clears throat> Miss Felicia. I can no longer be your psychologist. But I, I will refer you to one of the best psychologists that I know who is also affordable. Why? But you have been helping me for some time now. I really need you. I know. I, I know all of that. Okay, but I cannot be your psychologist anymore. 
You haven't given me a substantial reason though. I can no longer handle your case. <laughs> we have been making progress. Yes. But this is best for both of us. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I, understand. I have a piece of good news for you. <laughs> Go ahead. so fast i never expected it i love I, him so much are you sure what do you mean by my sure? i am happy to be engaged i love him so much you know he got on one knee and asked me to marry him gosh that was so romantic we'll be getting married soon <laughs> shut up hmm? yes you heard me i said shut up Shut up! Every day you come in here and you talk and talk and talk. Now this is going to be my time to talk. I will be doing the talking while you will be doing the listening. This is Benga. He is my husband. My husband. We have been married for seven years. Seven whole years and we have a son together. I didn't know he was married. I don't care what you know or what you do not know, but you will get up and you will get out of my office this minute. Amanda! Where are you, Amanda? Yes, ma'am. Listen, I need you to escort this woman out of this office and I do not want to see her here again. If she's still interested in seeing a psychologist, refer her to Mr. Bamidele. I am no longer her psychologist. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Miss Felicia, please, I need to leave now. Leave right now. I love my job so much. Please. Leave. I met with Felicia today. And I told her that I cannot be her psychologist anymore. Do you know the next thing she said? Mm -mm. That's Benga proposed to her. Yes. What? You're not serious. I you? am dead serious. Dead serious. So what did you do? I lashed out on her. And good. I mean, I gave her a piece of my mind. Very good. What did you tell her? A lot was said. But I know that I eventually walked out of my office. You did well. So what would you do now? <sighs> um, listen, listen, Amaka. Please. I would like Josh to stay here tonight. Yes, because I need to talk to Benga. And I don't want him around when I'm talking to him. Come on. You didn't have to say this. You know I would do anything for you. That's not a problem, please. I just really hope you and Benga can sort out your differences. Don't worry, girlfriend. Everything will be fine, okay? All right? You need to be strong. You know I love you, right? Please, don't let this stress you, okay? Hey, baby. How are you doing today? Mm. My love, is everything okay? Your lover came by the office today. She told me that. She told me that you put a ring on her finger. God, Benga Phillips. How on earth did I ever allow you to deceive me? <laughs> what love are you talking about? I thought we moved past this. Moved past what? Moved past what exactly? So you expect me to believe you do not have a lover and you propose to her? Babe, 
for the one millionth time. I do not have a lover and I did not propose to anybody. I did not. Stop it! Minga, you need to stop lying. Stop it! Stop the lies already! Baby, I love you. Leave me alone. I love you. I won't. Why would I want to ruin what we have? You love me. Pinga, you love me and you do this to me. You know what? To hell with you and your love. Brenda, you I need to out. calm down. Get out of Brenda. my way! Brenda! Turn around with So sad. So sad to realize that I've I really don't like what is happening between us. I love you. And I have never loved anyone the way I love you. Ever. Just look at the bundle of joy you gave us. Awesome. Come on, babe. Don't be like this. Before this whole saga started, we never went to bed without settling our differences. But look at us now. Babe, I miss you. I love you. I miss your warm smile in the morning. I miss the way you look at me and tell me you love me. I miss how you thank me for everything, even though you really shouldn't. I just miss us. Babe, I really, really miss you. I didn't cheat on you. I have never cheated on you, and I will never cheat on you. This woman, whatever, whoever she is, I don't know her. I don't. Please, stop tearing us apart. You know what, if you really do not believe me, let's just settle this once and for all. Arrange a meeting. Yes, arrange a meet that meeting. I have nothing to lose. I have nothing to, to hide. Call the woman. Let's have a round table talk. Let's, let, let, let her look me in the eye and, and tell me to my face that she's my lover. Are you serious? Yes, my love, I'm serious. Please, I love you. I won't do anything to hurt you. Now I know, say, my happiness, my happiness in my hand. Now I realize that my happiness, my happiness in my hand. Yeah. Now me hold my happiness. Now me hold my happiness. Yeah. Now me hold my happiness. My uh, happiness, <coughs> my happiness in my hand. Hello, Felicia. Ah, I for just trust. I for no listen, no. I for just ask before I get. Um, <clears throat> Winga, what are you doing tomorrow, 4 p.m.? 
Mm, I'm not sure. Why do you ask? Um, listen, it's time for us to sort this issue out. It has lingered for so long. I do not have a lover. She is not my lover. Okay. See, I, I think it's time for us to sort this whole thing out. It's been lingering. I think it's time we all sit and talk. Meaning? It's way past the time she said she was going to come. Do you think she's still going to come? Yes. I'm sure she's going to show up eventually. Maybe she's held up in traffic or something must be delaying her. Let's wait, please. Okay. If you say so, we will wait. It's been four hours. Over four hours and she still hasn't showed up. What's going on? What's all this? Do you still think she's going to come? Does this woman even exist? Have you, have you called her? Anoba is not reachable. I, I, I don't know why. I mean, this is so strange. Um, you know what? Um, Bega, let's just give her 30 minutes. 30 more minutes. 30 more minutes. No problem. Binga. No. Um, when you're ready, meet me in the car. Benga, where are you? Benga, she won't show up. I'm sure she's going to show Benga. Benga, are you listening? Benga. Benga. I do not like how you reacted at the restaurant. How was I supposed to react? Tell me, how was I supposed to react? We're waiting for how long for God knows who. Really? Minga, really? Yes, really. You know, I'm starting to think that you planned this whole thing. Because how come we never did the so-called lover never showed up? <laughs> what do I stand to gain by doing that? I don't know, you tell me. Wow. Just wow. You know, I do not have time for this. I don't. Benga! 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 What is it again? Benga, why did you tell the lover not to show up for the appointment you had today? Why? What the hell are you talking about? Cut that pretense, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about! No, unfortunately, I do not! Wow. Keep denying it. No, go ahead, deny it! Your lover just sent me a text message. She said you told her not to show up, otherwise, you'll break up with her. You see, I've come to realize that no matter what I say or do, you will not believe me. So right now, I am not even bothered anymore. 
What is that supposed to mean? Exactly what you heard. I am sick and tired of this. So why won't you own up to your wrongdoings? Own up! Why won't you own up? Where is it going to? Manda! Manda, now you done! Well, I know you're going to come back to this house, won't you? It clouded my vision and, and left, left me in pain. pain. My pride I left me hurt and broken, broken, took away the peace and kept me in sorrow. I feel so good And I'm good So good Binga Yo Yo? You mm -hmm. went to drink? What does it look like? I went to pray? Man, who wouldn't Who wouldn't Drink With a wife like you Finger, don't insult me, okay? Don't blame me for your mistakes. Mistakes? What mistakes exactly? Tell me. What mistakes? Shut up. Don't worry, we'll talk about it tomorrow. No, no. You know what? We... I'm going to talk about it now. Well, as you can see, I'm not in the mood to talk about this young man. <clears throat> Do you see how messed up you are? I'm not messed up. I am fine, okay? I'm perfect. Never felt better, okay? My entire life. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come. Come, let's go get you cleaned up. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no. Let me be. I just want to sleep. Yes. That's what I need to do. I need to sleep. And you will sleep. Let's just go get your clean No, no, no. Mm -mm, no. Let me go to my bed. Okay. okay. Come on. Let's go. Oh, now. Mm. Come, Benga. Come. We need to clean you up. Okay? Mm. Leave Leave me call. alone. No, listen, let's just. You need a bath. Let's go. Oh, all of a sudden, you want to bathe me after. Ah, 
putting me through so much stop? stress. Okay, let's just go get you going to work. No. <laughs> Wake up, honey. Binga. Binga. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. You've slept enough. It's time to eat. Binga. Binga, you have to get up. Get up. I bought you something to eat. Get up, get up, get up. You've had enough sleep. It's time to eat. Okay? Get up. Please, get up. Up, up, up. <sighs> Listen, you need to eat something. Get up, Winga. <sighs> you slept enough, now it's time to eat. It should feel better afterwards. I um <clears throat> I need to go to Amaka's place to pick up Josh. I won't be long. <sighs> Listen, I'll be going with my key, okay? So I'll lock the door from outside. I'm sure you have your keys. Okay. So I'll see you later. Okay. I'll see you when I return. Eat something. Hi, girl. Hello, Amaka. How are you doing? I'm fine. How is Josh? Josh is fine. He's sleeping upstairs. up with you. <sighs> when he came home, I confronted him. Amaka, he denied it. All of it. We had a huge fight. The next morning, he woke me up. He told me a lot of things and he tried so hard to convince me that he did not do those things I said he did. Do you know what he said next? What did he say? He told me to set up a meeting with Felicia. Yes! That's what he said. So later that day, I set up the meeting. I called Felicia and booked an appointment. The next day, Benga and I went to the restaurant for the meetup. Amaka, we sat there for hours. Jeez. She did not show up. Benga got angry and left. Later that day at home, I got a message from Felicia saying that she did not make it to the meeting because my husband asked her not to come. That's I talked to Benga. Yeah, that's what happened. I talked to Benga about it and he said he didn't know exactly what I was talking about. He walked out on me again. And this time, when he returned home, he came home drunk. Amaka, Benga was reeking of alcohol. Benga? Yes. Drunk? The Benga, you know, is not a drinking type. Looks like he just started. <sighs> Brenda. Listen, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go to. I just want all of this. I got to just... Go. Let me just go away. I'm tired, Amaka. I, I'm tired. I'm tired. Calm down. Whew. I think I have an idea. What is it? Tell me. Okay. The last time you fixed an appointment, the board were aware of it. Right? Yes. So this time, you're going to do the same, but the opposite. You will fix the same appointment, 
but the both of them would not know about it. Oh. Maka, how on earth am I supposed to do that? Very simple. Very simple. Fix a meeting with both of them, same venue, but different timing. At least 30 minutes difference. Are you sure this will work? 100%. Okay, um, now I'm thinking of the perfect meetup point. The office. My office. My office? Yes. That's a good idea, Maka. Thank you. I mean, I don't know what I would have done without nothing, you. Nothing, nothing. Come on, girlfriend. You're welcome. <laughs> it's nothing. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go. Birthday. Mm. Okay. Daddy. Hey. <laughs> How are you? Did you have fun at Auntie Amaka's? Yes. Good. <laughs> Good. All right. Now you need to go upstairs and freshen up, right? Hey, boy. Come back. Get this. I'm coming, okay? Okay. Love you. So... How are you? I'm okay. Hello? Hello? Hope you're not pissed that you don't make it for the appointment. It's okay, Felicia. Nothing to worry your head over. Um, Felicia, I need you to come to my office today. I need to see you. Today? Yes. Today, it's very important. Please, I need to see you. Okay, I will try. You don't need to try. I want you to show up. Please. Okay, I will come today. Um, can you be here at 2 p.m.? Okay then, um, I'll be expecting you. All right. Yes, thank you, bye. Mm 
Hello? Amanda, in my office now. Yes, come in. My called? Yes, I I did. Miss Felicia will be coming in today to see me. Miss Felicia? Yes. When she comes in, I need you to call me on the phone and I will talk to you to let you know when to let her in. Okay. Okay, thank you. That'll be all. All right. Hello? Um, Benga, I need to see you in my office. It's very important. Uh, okay. I'll be on my way. Is everything okay? Everything will not be okay if you do not come. It is urgent. What do you mean? Listen, Benga. This will sort out all our issues. I need you to come in today, please. Okay, I'm, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. See you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm here to see Mrs. Brenda. Okay, sit down while I call her. Okay. Hello, Ma. Um, Miss Felicia is here to see you. Oh, okay. All right. Come in. Thank you. <clears throat> I need to thank you again for coming. No, it's okay. You sounded so urgent over the phone. What is the important thing you want us to discuss? Yes, I did sound urgent on the phone. Um, listen, Felicia. I spoke to Benga about you. But he keeps denying your existence. He is lying. I know. I know he is. I believe you. I already told him I want a divorce. Yes, I am tired of this marriage. No, it wasn't. It was really fine. I, I, I came as soon as I can. Oh. Yes, everything is okay. Um, since you wouldn't let this meeting happen, I had to make it happen either way. Felicia, I'm so sorry I did not tell you about this. I did not want him to discourage you from coming. Wait, wait. I need to understand what's going on. What, what did you mean by that? I don't, don't understand. Binga. And I'm sure you know it. This is Felicia, your lover. Or do you want to deny her again? You could have informed me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? I have to do this. This? Really, Brenda? This, my lover? Really? Um, okay. Excuse me. My lover. Please tell me. Have we met before? And how can I be in a romantic relationship with someone I've never met? How? Felicia, mm -hmm. speak up. Listen, I'm here. He will not do anything to you, okay? Don't be afraid. Oh, please. Yes, please. I need you to speak up. You know I mean? Forgive me for raising my voice. I won't do anything to you because I need you to speak up so we can clarify this nonsense going on. How am I in a relationship with someone that I do not even know? Shh. 
she said both of you met at a restaurant. Me? Yes. How? How is that even possible? I have never met her before. I don't know her. How? Wait a minute. Hey. Here. Savings. How do you mean it's not paying? <laughs> Try it again. Try it again. <laughs> it has to. What do you mean by that? Wait, what do you want me to do? I don't have another card here. I don't even have any cash. Keep trying until you pay. What do you mean by... Just put it, put it wait, in wait, again. Wait. It has to pay. Oh. I use the... Sorry, what's going on? The card is not paying. Keep the trying. Uh, don't worry. I'll... It's okay. I think I've seen this face before. Yes. I recognize you. Yes, we met at a restaurant. We bumped into each other and that's it. We didn't even exchange contact. Nothing! I've never spoken with her since then. We didn't keep in touch. So how am I romantically involved with someone I don't talk to? Did she get your phone number? You're seriously asking me that question? She's right there, ask her! Felicia. Hmm? How did you get his phone number? I'm asking you, I said, how did you get his phone number? It fell from his pocket when we bumped into each other. You mean you've been lying to me all this while? I'm asking you, have you been lying to me all this while? I didn't lie to you. I experienced them. Yes, I did. I experienced them. What? What do you mean by you experienced them? Do you experience them? Felicia. You don't... You don't have one in my head. He is in my head. Felicia, you are definitely sick. No, I am not sick. I experienced them. I did, I did. Yeah, I did. I did. Oh. Not believe me. Like, I cannot believe that I have been taking you serious all this while, Felicia. When was the last time you took your drugs? I'm asking you, when was the last time you took your drugs? I don't know. Like, I can't remember. 
Oh. Wow. You have killed me. To say that this is embarrassing would be the understatement of the year. So you mean to tell me that you knew she had complications, yet you chose to believe her? I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Please. Of course you're sorry. But would sorry change anything, no? Yeah, please, I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say, but I'm sorry. And I mean it. I mean it. It's okay. You don't need to say anything. You've done enough. Binga! Binga, wait! Binga! 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 <laughs> Benga! 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 Benga, I'm talking to you! Listen, I want us to talk, okay? I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry that my jealousy took the most of me. I'm sorry. I want us to talk, please. I have work to do, so please. Get out, man. Yeah, you know me too well not to move an inch. I want us to talk. Brenda, don't make me do something stupid. I need to get back to work now. Not going anywhere. Get out! <laughs> oh my god! Babe, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Babe, babe, babe. Oh my god. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. Sorry, 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 sorry. You, you okay? What I fell on my sorry, knee. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ah, uh, Miss Philip, there's nothing to worry about. It's just a minor spray. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. You have to be very careful so as not to have a repeat of this event. Okay. Babe, I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm really sorry. This is all my fault. It's okay. It's okay. You don't need to say sorry. I've already forgiven you for everything. And I'm sorry for the way I reacted. What's important now is that our love for each other is intact. And we grow, become better, okay? Thank you. I love you very much. I love you even more. It is no surprise that um, both of you have been invited to this small gathering, you know, to come and celebrate with myself and my wonderful family, most especially my beautiful wife. Um, okay. Uh, obviously, obviously, we're expecting a new member. We've been new. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Into the family and. Um, this little gathering is to give both of you, our closest friends, the opportunity to be the first to know yeah. sex oh. of our little baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, should we go right ahead and tell them? Then I think we should let them guess first. Oh, they should guess. Okay, all right. Let's okay. see. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a girl. Mm -hmm. Nah. I trust my guy. His jeans are very strong, so I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna go with the second song. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. We're expecting a beautiful princess. I told 
baby. Oh, no. That's amazing, bro. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I call. I Thank call you. Thank you. No, 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 we don't. We don't even say that one now. Thank you. We don't even say that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Um. So. I also want to specially, specially appreciate my wife. I love you so much. Wow. And I want you to always, always remember that. Can they? You are my favorite I kiss, couple. I kiss, kiss already. I mean, love it. Love it. All right, so let's do this. It's time. Woo!